Hey guys, this is ICU, and I'll be narrating this Team Slayer game on the pit. Um, it's the first one of these that I've done, so if I screw up, then I screw up. Um, the little time indicator will go away, I just forgot to do it when I was recording it. Now, the pit is quite an interesting map at first, it looks kind of intricate. But it's actually quite balanced, it's uh, even on both sides, and the first thing I usually do is just go over to this building over here where the, um, the sword um, is sitting, and then I just crouch and uh, wait. Unfortunately, one of my teammates comes along, just runs along with the what looks like the turret, so that sort of gives away at least his position. But perhaps the enemy only thinks there's one of us. Um, he gets killed out there. I can notice the uh, red dot on my radar, so I'm sort of still sneaking around here with the sword. Now, the biggest uh, thing with weapons from Halo, th uh, from Halo 2 to Halo 3, is the fact that uh, in Halo 2 you could just hit Y and instantly whip out your sword, and it was very quick. Um, in Halo 3 it takes a little bit longer to actually, you have to actually pull out your weapon so you can't do those really really quick lunges I kinda got screwed over by that guy, he had a rocket launcher and uh, in most situations a rocket launcher will beat out a sword I just grab uh, dual uh, spikers right here, take out this guy um, so the biggest thing I found out about uh, the pit so far is that um, it is quite easy to defend your half of the map um, if you start rushing uh, the other team, then they're going to get you in traps, and they're going to pick you off with long-range weapons, or even in close combat. And uh, rushing generally isn't a good idea. So what you really want to do is get some good weapons, um, and stay back and force the enemy to make the mistakes. Um, it's usually a good idea. Early in this game, we, we go down by quite a bit, um, because... Uh, we didn't quite have our uh, game plan down perfectly. Well, not that we did throughout the entire game, but uh, some of us were rushing a little bit. And um, that lets the enemy get out to a quick lead, but uh, as you would probably uh, imagine, I probably wouldn't put up a gameplay that we lost, so you can probably imagine that we're going to come back. Um, so right now I'm just um, telling my guys to uh, sort of hang back on this side of the map, let them come to us. Um, and they do quite often. Get into a fight with that guy. Gets picked off by uh, one of my teammates finishing up the kill. So now we're sort of patrolling the area. Um, the pit's actually quite simple. You've got this left side where I'm looking right now. And then you've got that place over towards the middle. And then you've got the right side with the sword and um, the little area around the sword, and that's the only places the enemy can really come from, so with four guys you can cover it pretty well. Um, so it's not it's not that difficult to cover all areas of the map and just call it positions. Basically all I do is, I if there was a bad guy coming down this little corridor, I'd say there's a guy coming left, and that's all you really need to call out from either side of the map. If you try and establish one side of the map as your, quote, base, basically it's probably going to be where you start off at. Um, establish that as your base and try and defend it, hold down that side of the map, then it's quite easy if your whole team's over there to just call out the locations. You got you got left side, or depending on which side of the map you are, left or right side, you've got sword side, you've got uh, straight down the middle, all this kind of stuff, so it's not that hard to uh, call out locations. Um, a lot of the maps I've found that um, people tend to uh, call out locations by um, the territory numbers. On high ground, that's quite effective. On Valhalla, I've noticed that people do that quite a lot. It's just, you know, wherever the territories um, are on the territories game type, people say, oh, there's a guy at two. And even if it's not territories, then people usually know what you're talking about. Um, so, there was a perfect example of why you shouldn't rush in this game type, um, and especially on this map, because, I mean, that guy was all by himself with the sword and just managed to pick him off and uh, take his power weapon. Um, and here's them rushing over more and more and more, and I was just telling my guys to, you know, stay back, pick them off, bait them to come into our trap, and, um, see, there's what you shouldn't do. That guy on my team just rushed over there and got the crap blown out of him, so. The rocket isn't, you can, the, the rockets are really slow in this game, so you can dodge them at range. That guy was going to have to come over to our side, basically, to get a a decent rocket kill. So, and basically right here I do the exact opposite of what I've been saying, I sort of rush in there, 
and try and get a kill. I actually I managed to get the beat down, but somebody over there towards the middle was shooting me with the BR. So I die, but uh, I still got a kill. So I figure trading off one for one's okay. Get in a little fight with that guy, bounce a decent nade off the wall, get the kill. Um, now here's a very interesting weapon right here. Is the brute is the uh, brute mauler, um, the uh, dual wieldable uh, shotgun. Um, whatever he's found is it's most effective to um, get up close. Uh, it won't actually kill in one shot, but what's most effective is uh, getting really up close, hitting the person one time, and then just um, meet beating them down. It's uh, really quite an effective up close weapon if you don't have anything else available. Um, that works quite well. So right now we're sort of trying to repel uh, an attack on our side of the base. And um, that looks kind of laggy right there. I don't know what's going on right there. Hmm, must have been something wrong with my video capturing. But that looks pretty laggy. It's jumping around a little bit. Oh well. Nothing really important happened, I don't think. Get a double kill on the sword guy. And I'm sorry for this li this uh, jumpiness, that's kind of annoying. He's going to go jump up and get that bug, but uh, the wolf spider gets uh, an amazing stick. It's quite cool. Um, so, I just have this uh, the battle rifle, the uh, medium to long range weapon. I'm just shooting him across the map, getting some hits on him. Perhaps my teammates can finish him off. Of course, calling out locations all the time. got unlucky there. I think I was having a BR fight with that guy, or I was getting shot from by uh, two different people, so he runs in there and manages to kill me. Now what's quite interesting right here is um, in Halo 3, when a sword guy gets into a fight with another sword guy, right like right here, they sort of clash off, sh off each other. Couple that with the uh, the regenerator power-up, and that was quite an interesting little fight right there. I was just trying to put on some supporting fire, and uh, managed to kill that guy, but then I get blown up in the process. And right, hit, right uh, now the score, we're still down by, well, we were down by one, we just went back up, so sort of trading kills right now. This is simply because uh, we put a little bit of strategy into our game, we decided to stay back and uh, not rush forward and get killed, and it worked out. Now that was kind of lucky on my part, uh, grabbed the BR and sort of hid from that guy, and again, this video is kind of jumpy, I'm, I apologize. Stupid Windows Movie Maker, never use that again. Just trying to do a quick job. Oh well. So I gotta throw a grenade over there at that guy and it blows him up and it's generally what grenades do. So you'll notice that um, I've basically not left this side of the map the entire game. I've just been running around towards the back doing supporting fire with the battle rifle and you know just bringing the enemy shields down and getting a few kills and notice the guy on my radar run up here and get him with a sword. Just running around, waiting for them to come to us. I can. They're running into my traps as opposed to me running into their traps. Uh, right there, I kind of got screwed over by the needler. It didn't really work out too good. And uh, needler is a really effective weapon on Halo 3. But uh, at distance, it's quite easy to dodge the shards. But at uh, close quarters like this, down these sort of straight hallways, it's quite deadly. The mauler is good, but the sword's probably still better jump down there and get that guy and then it's getting towards the end of the game just get that uh, headshot from across the map and my teammates finish up to get the final kill and we win we come back from quite a big deficit and win just by putting a little bit of strategy into it so that was my pit gameplay see you later